Tephelometry, what is that? It is one of the methods for determining the amount of cloudiness or turbidity in the solution. And are there any other methods to determine this cloudiness or turbidity? Yes, there is one more method which is called as turbidimetry. So, turbidimetry and nephelometry, they determine turbidity. Now, what is turbidity? Turbidity is nothing but the presence of suspended particles, suspended insoluble particles in the solution. Means it is not the clear solution. Okay. So, because of the suspended particles, this uh, solution has become turbid and when we measure the turbidity that amount of turbidity can give us the idea about the concentration of these suspended particles so if you see here through this solution where the particles are present i am passing a light through this solution so some of the light is as such coming out so i call this light as transmitted light so it has come out without interaction and the light which has interacted has scattered hmm, because of the particles which has come in its path of movement. Okay. These measurements are usually done using white light and turbidimetry. This turbidimetry, it measures the intensity of transmitted light whereas the nephelometry it measures the intensity of scattered light and therefore you know as i have shown you here hmm, the white light i am passing through the solution of the suspended particles this is the transmitted light and this is the light which is been scattered okay and therefore the turbidometric measurements are done at the 180 degrees from the incident light beam and the nephelometric measurements are usually done at the right angles to the incident light beam and when it comes to the choice of the method which method is to be used so that depends on the nature of the sample so if the sample is highly concentrated for such samples, we use turbidimetry method. And when the samples have low concentrated dilute solutions, then we use nephelometry, okay, which gives accurate results for the dilute solutions. And therefore, the nephelometric measurements are more sensitive for very dilute suspensions. This is the answer.